Our journey begins in June of 2020, when the Indian Parliament passed three contentious farm bills. These bills, aimed at liberalizing the agricultural sector, were met with sharp criticism from farmers across the country. They feared that the new laws would dismantle the traditional Mandi system, leaving them at the mercy of big corporations. In response to these bills, farmers from the northern states of Punjab and Haryana took to the streets. What started as a regional protest soon gained momentum, evolving into a nationwide movement. By November of 2020, thousands of farmers had marched to the borders of Delhi, the nation's capital, setting up camps and blocking major highways. The government's initial response was to impose restrictions and use force to disperse the farmers. However, this only fueled the farmers' determination. As the protests continued, they garnered international attention, with celebrities and influencers lending their voices to the cause. The government and farmer leaders held multiple rounds of talks, but these discussions were a stalemate. The farmers remained firm on their demand for a complete repeal of the laws, while the government offered amendments but stopped short of a full repeal. Fast forward to February 2024, the protests are still ongoing, with no resolution in sight. The farmers' protest has become a symbol of resistance, a testament to the strength of people's movements and a significant event in Indian history. This journey through the farmers' protest in India sheds light on the power of collective action and the importance of dialogue in resolving conflicts. It is a reminder that in a democracy, the voice of the people is supreme and cannot be ignored. So, as we watch this movement unfold, let us remember that it is not just about farm laws, it is about the very essence of democracy, the power of the people.